Get some sleep, they said. You gonna need all the sleep you can get, they said. It's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. Let me tell you, I'm wide awake, you feel me? Six days before I ship out. Tonight is my last night at work. And I'm excited, man. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to get up out this gym and see what this RTC action like. But I know I'm supposed to be resting, man. And I, every time I try to lay down, it ain't working. I don't care if I cut all the lights out, if I got the blinds closed. It's absolute quiet. I just ain't been sleepy. I've been working out. First, I was worried about arriving to boot camp a little sore from exercising. So I kind of gave it a break just to recover. And I'm still studying. So pretty much my expenses stuff with my family everything is smooth everything is on auto autopilot until i get back and now we wait <laughs> no now we supposed to be sleep but i told you it ain't it ain't looking good for me man the only thing helped me sleep that'll put me to sleep instantly is listening to other people complain about shit. man i'ma see you oh my god you leave it fall asleep on their ass happy new year you ain't talked to me since last year you a stranger Whatever people offended by in 2020, you know, somebody's oppressing somebody or is racist or is sexist or... Let me say this, because I should have said this in the beginning. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Beginnings to everybody. I wish you much success and much focus and good fortune in this new decade or whatever. Give yourself a purpose if you haven't already and just stay committed, stay on it. And um, I want to challenge you all to try something different. I'm just tired of hearing people talking, bro. I'm talking about family, friends, people on the internet, everything, like everywhere I look, everybody's complaining about their situations and they ain't doing nothing about it. Or they complaining about other people's situations and they ain't doing nothing about their own. So that's kind of like my focus this year. 2019 was a chill year. It was a good year, but it was chill. I, I didn't really turn up like that. 2018 was lit. That's when I was going crazy all over the world. No regrets, but uh, 20. 19, yeah, that was just like a year of reflection for me, planning, mapping stuff out, as you can see. So 2020 for me is a year of ex execution. But now that they telling me get some rest, it's like it's like um the night before the first day of school. That's kind of how the best way I could describe it. I'm just like kind of amped up. I'm like, gee, ain't no sleep, bro. I ain't gonna flex though. I know I could get some sleep at the hotel the night before we ship out. Cause um, when I went in for MEPS, you know, they had you do the briefing and you get your key card, you meet your roommate. Roommate was cool, the room was comfortable. I was able to sleep good in there. Sleeping at the crib, like no, nah, I just been editing videos, um, making my little final calls, you feel me? The way that my ship date is set up, I leave on Wednesday, January 8th. However, our debt meetings at our recruiter's office, that's every first Tuesday of the month. So the first Tuesday of the month is the 7th. That's the day before I leave. So what's gonna happen is, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna have all Monday to myself. Yeah, I could just sleep, try to sleep. Nah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be all Monday, <laughs> I already know. But I guess that do involve a little bit of sleep, kind of, sort of, you know, little water breaks, little um, Uber Eats and chill breaks or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna sleep. Monday and Tuesday, right after my debt meeting, you feel me? I say my final goodbyes to the recruiting office, the chiefs, the, the future sailors in the delay entry program, all that good stuff. And they taking me directly to the hotel where I got to check in so I can ship out the next day. That's how that's going to work. So I do think I could get some sleep in the hotel. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy that salty bacon I was telling y'all about. My bags is already packed. First, I had packed this big bag. It was almost like a gym bag. And I'm like, man, I really don't even need all this. Then I sized it down to this one little bag, bro. So I'm not really bringing a whole lot. This is all I should need. Um, I guess I could throw the tidy whities in it. Damn, boy, your ass going to have tidy whities on. But yeah, I'm going to just stick with this for now. Whatever else I need, I'll buy next. And everything else that I got, I'ma just save for uh, A school. I have my people bring it to my graduation. All right, my bad, y'all. For the third time, this is the final bag I'm taking. Final answer. This bag is actually perfect. You feel me? It's not too small, not too big. It's just right. And look, whole time, I got the whole little navy bag. You dig? Only reason I got two bags is because I got my paperwork at the bottom and a folder, and I don't want that to get too balled up. But yeah, everything pretty much fit in this navy bag. 
I don't really even need to bring this. Okay, so this is my final decision right here. This is the bag I'm bringing. Also, shout out to the Facebook group, the Navy Dev group. Uh, make sure y'all add that group as soon as y'all get enlisted. So that's it, man. That's what's going on with me. Uh, I'm excited. I ain't really got too much more to say. Uh, I have been trying to kick it with people, but I'm going to be right back, bro. I'm going reserves. Like, I should be right back this summer. And, and it's weird because it's like people act kind of funny when they know you're about to leave. Shout out to Robert Greene, 48 Laws of Power. That's one of my favorite books. And um, I forgot which law it is, but he talk about that, like increasing your worth or increasing your notoriety through absence. And that's what I see. Like you tell somebody you're going to be gone or you leaving or you're about to move out of town or whatever the case may be. You taking you in a relationship like people be they'll do a 180 on you. You'd be like, 